Hey friends, welcome to day 18 of our virtual learning together. Today, you're going to sign in on that sign-in sheet that you have created. So get your ruler, draw another line, and write your last name with a pencil using one capital letter and the rest lowercase. Go sign in and come right back here. So today, you get to be scientists and we are gonna make something really, really fun for this Friday. But first, I would like you to go watch the video all about bubbles. I sent mommy and daddy a link already, so you can pause my video, go watch that all about bubbles, and then come back with your thinking hat on, thinking like a scientist. Okay, scientists, did you learn a lot about bubbles? How they're formed? how we need two simple ingredients, soap and water to make bubbles? Well, today, Miss Jessica is going to make something even cooler than just bubble solution. Wait till you find out what we're going to make today. Now, before we start mixing anything, good scientists always make a prediction. Remember that word? That means a guess. Is it okay if your guess isn't correct at the end? Yes, because scientists make predictions all the time that don't come true. It's part of the scientific process. Okay, scientists. So now what do you think will happen if Miss Jessica uses the soap and water in a blender? Oh, have you ever seen a blender before? It spins things. It mixes them really, really fast. Hmm. Now, let's make a prediction. So let me hear some predictions. Yell them out at me. Oh, you think the bubbles are gonna get really big. That's a great prediction. Good guess. Let me see, what else? What, what did you say? Oh, you think it might blow the top off. Wow, that would be really cool, but really, really messy. Wait, what do you think? You think it's gonna be like when we used the baking soda and vinegar and it erupted and the bubbles came out and spilled over the top. Wow, those are all really cool guesses. So now, on your paper, on the left-hand side, I want you to draw a picture of your prediction. What do you think will happen when Miss Jessica adds soap? water into a blender. Do you want to see my prediction? I predicted that the bubbles would get so big they'd reach the top of the blender and spill over. Wow. Okay, now set that aside because we've got some experimenting to do. Okay, first you need one quarter cup of soap. Now, you can choose to use dish soap like Miss Jessica's using, or you can choose to use baby wash if you are afraid that you might get it in your eyes. So I've never done it with baby wash, but you could try that. Okay, one quarter cup dish soap into the blender. Next, a half a cup of water. And in it goes. Now this part is optional. Miss Jessica is going to add some food coloring to make it really, really pretty. I'm going to add purple. Three, four, five. Let's try that. Okay. Lid on. We don't want those bubbles coming out of the top. And here we go. It's going to be a loud noise. Look at all of that bubble foam. <gasps> I'm gonna pour it out into a container right now. Are you ready for this? Watch. Look at that bubble foam. <gasps> Bubbles and water in a blender make bubble foam. Look at how thick and fun that is. Okay. Let's do it again. I'm gonna do it in a bowl this time, and I'm gonna use B 
meters to be to mix it up okay so I'm this batch I'm gonna make blue I added six you think it'll be darker all right let's turn this on and see oh my goodness that worked too now let's mix them oh my goodness look at how much foam now for the fun part you get to play in it oh, you could scoop with a cup oh my gosh it's so thick <laughs> it's so fun you could use a spoon and put it in a funnel do you think it'll come out oh look it's coming out very slowly Wow, look at that. It almost looks like an ice cream cone or a snow cone. Look at that. But don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> you could use one of these. This is called a turkey baster. You squeeze and suck it up in there. Oh, look at the liquid. I thought it was going to have bubbles. So cool. How cool is this? Look at that purple water. Whoa. I wonder what this would do. This is for tea. You strain tea in it. Oh, it's just in there. What about if I blow? No, the solution is too thick. That doesn't work. What about if we use one of these? This is to sift flour. Let's scoop it up. It's not coming out. Oh, it's so thick it doesn't come out. Wow, pretty cool. Wow, that was super cool. Okay, scientists, so before you play in those bubbles, I need you to take a pledge. Ready? Hand up. I promise, now you say it, not to touch the bubbles until my mommy or daddy give me permission. Don't you touch those bubbles until mommy and daddy are ready for you to do it. So we made a prediction, then we did our experiment. Now it's time to record the results. So now your picture is gonna show what really happened. Go get your crayons and do that on this half of your paper. And here are my results. Wow, those bubbles were not big bubbles. They were really tiny bubbles all squished together and it made it like a thick foam. Okay, friends, let me talk to moms and dads for just a moment. Parents, you decide when and where you would like them to play with the bubbles. So, some options are in the bathtub. You can pour them in the bathtub, that way it's contained. We like to go outside, so I like to set up like a mud kitchen. They call it a mud kitchen or an outdoor kitchen with lots of kitchen tools and let them play outside in their bathing suits and water shoes. And then you can just hose them down before they come in. All right, moms and dads, so you can see this is messy, but it's clean fun, right? Because you can have the kids use a sponge and wipe down that surface, get a hose or a water sprayer and clean it off. Give them a towel. Kids at this age love to play in soap bubbles. So hey, you can get your windows cleaned out of this one. All right, you all, I hope you had a fun Friday and we will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.